Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Jack 2, or if you live in Europe, Jack 2 Renegade. I'm your host, Dr. Arthur Robotic. Let's get started. And let us continue. Last episode, we cleared the invisible metalheads. For Sig, and now let us continue our quest. In this fairly difficult game of difficulty. That the King of Scrubs, known as DSP, has a lot of trouble with, but DSP has trouble with everything, including games like Spider-Man, a game made for little kids to play. <laughs> Leave it to DSP to also probably fail some like those little educational point and clicks that they would have people play back in like elementary school computer labs. God, I actually gotta feel a bit old referencing those of all things. Although, like, I'm just more or less using that as a negative example of how bad DSP is in video games. Like, that would probably be one of the very few to screw those up. And treat it as if it were like a Sierra adventure game or Maniac Mansion. This area is so yeah, now let's head to the power station see what they need us to do now. And now we pissed off the Crimson Guards again. Oh, goody. Suspect. Then again, it's not... It's kind of hard not to piss them off, and really, it's fun pissing them off. Not in sight. They can't find me out here. Let's see, we're almost there now. Now let's try to get this dynamic entry in. Oh, I think I know what mission this is. Jack, we've still got trouble at the strip mine. I think the Baron set me up. Actually, uh, uh, I think everybody's trying to kill me. What are you talking about? Those eco wells the Baron had us drill? It seems he never intended to pipe them into the city grid. It doesn't make any sense! You know, open eco wells will attract more metalheads! You've gotta close them off! Now, these plasmite bombs should do the trick. Drop one into each well, and the blast will do the rest. Hey, be careful with that! Plasmite, huh? Cool! How does it work? Great, Dax, you just doomed us all. Hey, not my problem anymore. <laughs> no, really, I insist. <laughs> You're the hero. No, Jack's the hero. Well, at least he's honest. Oops. Sorry. My bad. Great. Now you've armed the whole lot. Don't move. On second thought, move far away. Go through the portal and drop one bomb into each eco well before they all go off. You only have two minutes. Okay, that's a bit more fortunate. Two wells of history! Four left! Three 
three wells cut. Only three to go. Only a minute before we're toast, Jack. That's the fourth well. Two bad boys left. You got the fifth well. Only one to go. Let's see, I'm gonna just probably have this run in because this one's actually a little bit more successful. So yeah, I had a bunch of other failures, but I cut them out due to their tedium. There we go. Now we finally got through it after a untold amount of fail failures. Since this one, this one I decided to kind of cut out some of the failures because this is one of the more missions that it's basically just simply a Tony Hawk style mission, but with a good amount more two minute timer. Sure is scared of metalheads! And for good reason. I've seen what metalheads do when they take a city. The destruction, the killing, the devouring. The Baron's scheming will only result in this city's falling prey like all the others before it. We must replace Praxis before it's too late. I am happy to say that you and your sidekick are causing quite a stir in our fight against the Baron. You hear that, Jack? You're the sidekick! Hey, uh, Wise and Whiskered, you, uh, got something itching under your robes? They have ointment for that, you know. It's just my aching bones. We have word the Baron is sending one of his large tanker ships out to the drill platform to pick up a load of ill-gotten eco. Go out to the drill platform through the warp gate and knock out that ship! The Shadow will send a team from the Underground to pick up the Eco later. Keep up the good work. We're counting on you. Oh god, I know this mission. It's a turret section. A rail shooting segment. I mean, the... This is the one where, like, it's pretty much the initial segment is pretty bad. I actually heard the version on Hero Mode is a nightmare, but I haven't never unlocked Hero Mode and... Really... This game itself is already hard enough as it is. Hero mode would probably end up making everything worse. Oh, well, once you get past this board, it's actually not that big a deal, honestly. See, so we gotta kill 40 Crimson Guards. on a series of quick time events.
Ah, crap. Just right as we were about to get through that wave, I ha we happen to get destroyed. Well, I thought that might have at least had something worth it to the fight, honestly. Hopefully this will be a little bit more manageable this time. And that, like I said, once you get past this initial part with the Crimson Guards, it's actually not that hard a mission. It's just like, it's like only this real part I've only had difficulty with. Once you get past this part, you're practically home free. and play cowards there we go yeah now this th shouldn't be that now this is going to be a bit more manageable. Oh, we actually pop out of the turret. Sweet. I'm not going to say that's probably a checkpoint because I could be wrong there, but eh. At least it'll have the decency to let us switch turrets, though. Okay, now we got the ships that we get destroyed. This is where this mission's actually a lot more manageable. Because all you're supposed to be focused on is destroying the ship this time. And you're not focusing on a complete ambush of guards. But yeah, technically there is, but you at least got a main target this time that you really have to worry about. And guards come out like one by one. There we go. Yeah, now it's a lot, definitely far more manageable and actually kind of a cool mission now. Now he's gonna come crashing down like Mike and Stu and they're ending a Twisted Metal 2. Oh, 
Oh yeah, another ship for us to blow up. Yay! There it is. And I believe, yeah, this mission's now over. Sweet. To be quite an asset. Without Eco, the Baron will soon topple, and the city's future will be in our hands. See you there. Let's see, now we gotta find Onan. I'm gonna just go ahead and use the board for this one. Yeah, screw it, I'm just gonna take the I'm just gonna take the motorbike. Seems like a more sensible idea. All things considered. No, it's simply a evade the guards. Not my problem, it's their fault. It's now the fruit stand owners problem or whatever. I don't I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Let's go see what they have to say. Birdbrain and I were just talking about you, Jack. Onan is very proud of what you did. What I did? What you did, what you do, it's all the same. Will you stop with the deja voodoo stuff? It's creepy! Onan says you must find the tomb of Mar. Even now, Baron Praxis seeks the tomb, but only <laughs> the one true heir of Mar can open the tomb's seal. We believe the kid is the key. The prophecies say that the true heir of Mar must face the ancient oracle. He alone must circumvent the cunning test of Manon. He alone must wield the precursor stone, thereby unleashing the... Jeez, Louise, fossil lady! Stop with this snooty mythic talk already, huh? You know that it hurts my lips. <sighs> Why is Mar's tomb so important? The fabled precursor stone is rumored to sleep within the tomb, stupid. I added the stupid part. The precursor stone <laughs> contains vast eco energies. It can be used for great good or great evil. <laughs> I just love seeing that last part. The Baron wants the precursor stone for himself to rule the world, but he is playing with forces he does not understand. 
Okay, Pecker. So how do I get this precursor stone? First, you must go to the dig and find the lurker totem. Onan and I have learned that a piece to the seal of Mar is contained within its ancient carvings. You must find all three pieces of the seal to open Mar's gate into the canyon. Let's see, I think I'm just gonna end the part here. I'll see you guys next time.